uh, Charles, for a lot of people at home, qualifying, they say, is the best of the weekend. Is that true? I love it. As a driver, I really, really enjoy it. I mean, you need, you are not allowed to make any mistake on that lap. Uh, you really need to put everything together. In a race, you do a mistake one corner, you've still got 70, 60 laps to, to recover from that mistake. In qualifying, you do a mistake in one corner and your qualifying is basically over or you'll lose too much time. So it is very, very tense for us drivers and I just really enjoyed that moment. Apart from the delta on your steering wheel, are you the driver who drives that lap in your head, say, it's good up to here, no mistakes up to here? Do you, do you feel prior to watching your delta that you're on a good lap? Do you know? I do feel, yes. Uh, you, you just can feel it once the feeling is good, getting out of the box, putting the tires in the right window, um, and then you've got this first part of the lap. It's always very difficult mentally when you are a lot quicker than your lap until the last two, two, two corners. Then you start to think about it. You're like, I need to make everything perfect and I cannot take a small margin just because I am a lot quicker. I need yeah. to make everything perfect. And there it's where the mental is taking, uh, I think, uh, a very important role uh, in the lap is, mm. is towards the last two corners when you are a lot quicker than the previous lap and that you need to make these two corners also even quicker than the, than the lap before. Is there also team-wise a briefing prior to qualifying? Do you exactly know in Q1 we're going out after eight minutes or are there different factors who decide, for instance, when you go out for your first run? If it's, a, if it's a sunny qualifying, we know we know exactly everything, all the plan before before qualifying, we fix it. We know exactly at what time we get out of the box. Um, the only slight change, and this we are speaking about seconds of qualifying, whether you do it, you go out five seconds earlier or five seconds later, is might be because of traffic. So when you need to get out, when you arrive at the time where you need to get out. You try to analyze what the others are doing. Do you want to take the slipstream of the guy that has just left? So you go five seconds earlier, but you wouldn't go earlier or later than five seconds. Also decisions to do, uh, for instance, in Q2, a run on the soft ones. Is that pre-decided because you know probably because the rest of the competition won't go any faster than, say, 115 and you can do 113 on yellow chicken, we can take the risk? Or is that being decided by you as a driver? So if you have the possibility in your tires to go either medium or soft for the second run, then this is a choice you probably do at the moment of qualifying. Um, you do the first run in Q2 with a medium, you see whether where you are compared to the others, which tires they have. If you really want to go to Q3, then you might want to put a soft on. If you really are in the top five with a medium on, then just keep the medium, go another set of medium for the Q for the Q2 and you know that you are going to get to Q2, Q3 with a medium. So it, it really depends on uh, uh, at, the, at the moment of, of Q2 for this. Is a top lap in qualifying always satisfying? You have seven poles behind your name. This year it's twice a fourth. But can you still feel the same buzz if you know that the lap was spot on? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, sure. Then, of course, you've got that extra um, uh, happiness if it's for pole position because I hear, I'm, I'm here not to do second, third or fourth. I want to be uh, first and that's uh, the same for everyone, I guess. But uh, on the other hand, I am very satisfied with myself whenever I know I have done a good job. And, uh, and this is very, very important. Then surely I know that sometimes I've done laps that were worth for pole, but that we didn't have the car yet to be fighting for pole. And, and we know this but I am satisfied whenever I do a very good lap. Finally, what's the, what's the most important mental thing? Because we always say you attack a qualifying lap. Is that aggression or precision? Precision, for sure. Yeah, yeah, precision is the most important. And uh, cool, cool minded, uh, I think uh, that's the two things you need to have. Uh, to, to be quick in qualifying, just uh, precision because you need to always be very, very precise. Every centimeters that you gain at the apex or that you use more in entry or exit of the corners is lap time. And, um, and then cool minded because, as I said, when you arrive towards the end of the lap where you cannot make any mistake and that you see that you've done a very good lap until then, 
mentally this is very very difficult to finish the lap without doing any mistakes so uh, yeah cool mind in that and precision so the qualifying lap basically is the most fun lap of the weekend if it works out <laughs> i love it exactly <laughs> if it works out though but uh, yeah i love it i mean uh, yeah you cannot do any mistake and you push the car to the maximum which in a race you are a bit more under the limit but in qualifying you can go for it and i love this feeling